Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2, episode 6 of our Cadron campaign. And let's waste no time, let's get right into it. So last time we lost a really cool battle, but we did valiantly get defeated by uh, um, Manfred. Oh, well, it wasn't Manfred, it was his, uh, his cronies. But um, they defeated us in an epic battle and then they sued us for peace for 4,000 gold, which was a surprising thing for all of us. But... What the? What did I just see? They think well of us? Okay, interesting. I don't know why they like us so much, but they do. I don't know what's going on with the AI there. Maybe we can trade with them? <laughs> why do they like us so much? No, there we go. It looked like they hate, They liked us for a second. I don't... Yeah, that's weird. Who's this? Oh, that's our relationship to them. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. That makes more sense. Ooh, can we trade with Essen? Now that they've got this back. That's a shame. It's not as Ostermark have taken Essen. That would have been good. Are we trading with Kislev? We are already trading with Kislev. Okay. So, let's stop wasting time over there. Grimly is ready to move out and attack Mount Gunbad, but it's not going to be him, I'm afraid. He's getting the boot because Ungrim is back and ready to fight. And he's got a grudge to settle. Because he died in an embarrassing way, but somehow didn't lose his weapons, which is great. I don't know how he didn't lose them, but he didn't. So that's awesome. Um, what's going on up here? One turn and we can get level 3 gold mine, which is awesome as well. So everything's looking pretty good. And we're going to go take Mount Gunbad now. That is today's mission. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully better than our conquests into the Vampire Lands, that's for sure. I think we should be okay, though. I do wish I had... Um, I do wish I had some... Uh, rock lobbers. Rock lobbers? It's not rock lobbers. It's grudge throwers. I'm not playing as the orcs. What am I thinking? I still... Even now, I still can't believe that they sued for peace with us. Oh, look at that. That was quick. Hopefully that doesn't mean that um, they're attacking Mount Goombad because I really want Mount Goombad. I don't want them to get it. So yeah, I can't waste any time. That means I have to go straight for it and figure out how I'm going to take it afterwards. Ready for duty. Cool. Doesn't really matter. Here we are, and we're going to attack that next turn. It's got one hell of a garrison. Orc Biggins. But I still think we can do it. Hopefully. I might need to siege it for a few days, though. Karakungor, how's it doing for public order? What's this? Six to eight. No, five to eight, and we're currently minus three. Perfect, that's exactly what we needed. <laughs> That's the exact amount we needed. That's ideal. Um, don't really... We don't need to worry about Untainted yet. Maybe I should build my Grudge Throwers up here. It is such a pain to have to go up there to get them, but I think I, I need to build them somewhere. And we could build a gate, which would be a great idea as well. Oh, of course, the new Skaven under Undercity thing as well. Got to watch out for them. Uh, let's go for... I'm going to go for the Siege Workshop so we can get the Grudge Throwers. Uh, pass turn there. He might build an army in response to that. I wouldn't be surprised. If he sees right through my little sneak attack plan. And that's good that Zufbar is at war with them now, because that's another opportunity to build relations with them. I'll offer, I'll, instead of directly declaring war, I'll go to Zufbar and say, hey, I'll join your war against the Greenskins, but you got to pay me a little bit or do something for me. We'll get something out of them.
And if we can, it would be great to confederate with them. <clears throat> oh, here he comes. Yeah, there you go. Now, if there are military... So we'll try and get... I'll tell you what, I'll try and get a military alliance and then try and have him back me up in the siege. I don't know if the AI will do that, but it's worth a try. What's he coming with anyway? That doesn't seem like a very, very big army. Oh, war fervor. Oh, definitely. Do have extra leadership for this before this big battle? Sure. Okay, guys. I am willing to join the war against the Greenskins. I thought I thought you'd be happy with that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Big friends now. Now, let's set Mount Gunbad as their place to attack. And let's see if they'll back me up. I don't know if they will. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Who knows? God, I don't want to have to wait five turns, but I might need to. I can't be... Um, I don't think I can be... Oh, of course they confederated, so if we'd moved quicker... When you confederate, for some reason, the garrison's empty. And they have to rebuild them. That's why they've lost all that. They've all got that damage. But I let them replenish for too many turns, it seems. I don't have to wait six turns, but... So I hope these guys back me up. But if they don't, then we might have to wait a few turns before we attack. So Karakadron's fine. You'll be fine in two turns. So yeah, everything's looking really good. Everything's looking really... How much health gold do we have? 96... I feel like I should use some of this now. Let's have a look here. What do we got? Armor and fire resistance. That seems pretty good. 14 extra armor. Stock and snipe. What is snipe? I'm not sure what that attribute is. This can be forged multiple times. Okay, let's get some iron beard armor. 96? Maybe it's... A Fire resistance, I'm not that keen on that. Let's see if there's anything that can just give us some something a bit better. Oh, that's a bit better. I like that. Bit of extra leadership. Because so I'm going to give this to um, our Dowie friend, the Runesmith. Enchanted items. Perhaps we'd get more out of it by building him three... three uh, cheap items rather than one of the more expensive ones. Let's see what we can get. So we can get 5% physical resistance or a bit of armor. And then a little bit of ward save or some melee attack and defense. <clears throat> and then some more melee defense and some missile resistance or some armor here. Melee defense. I think I'm going to go for that. I think I'm going to give him... I think I'm going to... Expert Charge Defense. Does he really need that? Yeah, we use him to break things a lot. Let's give him the Expert Charge Defense. And let's also give him... I like this. Melee Defense. Although that's pretty damn good too. Armor plus 14. His speed is not that big a deal. Armor plus 5 and Leadership, though. That is a big deal. I don't know. Hmm... What saved him in the past is him running away. So part of me is like, <laughs> let's not give him the leadership bonus. Let's go for the melee defense. Leadership's more likely to get him killed. <laughs> Ironically. And then I'll get the uh, melee attack plus three, melee defense plus three, I think. Oh, I'd rather have this, actually. Armor and melee defense. I'm just trying to keep him alive as much as possible. So that's cool. We'll give him all those. Here you go. Happy birthday. That's pretty good as well. Give him that too. For the wisdom of the land. Right, is this still the same turn? It is. Okay. So, let's pass a turn and I'm really hoping... If Zufbar back is up, then we're just going to go straight in there. So I really hope they do. Um, but something's telling me that because they um, can't directly attack, they're not going to help. I'd love it if they would. It'll be so cool to have a battle with our Dewey allies. Our Dewey brethren. That would be fun.
No, sneaky Manfred trying to ambush. Don't know who he's trying to ambush, but he's trying to ambush someone. Yes! Look at that! Look at that! They're gonna back us up with so many troops. If I wait, if I wait one more turn, we're gonna have two armies backing us up. That's awesome. I might wait another turn just to get that extra army backing us up. That's awesome. Uh, I think we're gonna have to do the shameful display. How many turns is it for? Minus three. I don't want to do that. Shameful display has to be. We're okay. Minus one. Minus six. Oh god, that might hurt us more than I bargained for. Minus six this turn takes us to... I might have to untax it for one turn. If I untax, where does it go to? Minus two. I'm going to do that for one turn. Yep. Yeah, that's a shame. But I didn't want to hurt my relationship with Zufbar, who will uh, eventually confederate with us, I'm hoping. Let's see what how this looks. Oh, look at that! We've got to give it one more turn, though, and hopefully the other one joins in. <coughs> my only other fear is that the the uh, <laughs> that that they both leave, though. That would suck. Please don't do that. Please no one declare war on them. <laughs> Let's get them all in here. I'm going to take the chance. Get them all backing us up, do the dirty work for us. I mean, I mean, support us. I wouldn't use my Dowie brothers like that. <laughs> I wouldn't just use them. Use my allies. This is going to be cool though. Zufbar and Karak Kadrin fighting side by side. Really thematic. I'm really feeling it. <laughs> I'm excited about this battle. I re oh, I'm going to be so gutted if they if they move away for any reason. I'm really hoping Yadri just comes in here. Come on, his his turn's coming up. Yes, yes. Look at this. This is going to be so cool. <laughs> That's a weird one. Carrick Hearn and Whistleland going to war. Those manlings. Have obviously offended our Dowie brothers. But we have more important things to worry about, so. Let's put tax back on that. Minus three. That's only for two turns left. So then it'll be zero. So we'll, we'll get away with that just. Let's do this, guys. Oh, look at this. He's got some fun. He's got some fun units as well, hasn't he? Come, Dowie. Oh, I, I love an epic siege. We can fight this properly, you know, because we're definitely going to win it. So we can fight this, like, you know, just send everyone up the walls and just get stuck in. Now, we can't let the Zufbar have all the glory. We've got to make sure that we, we have the glory. What side are they attacking on? Oh, they're coming on both sides, so... All right, we'll, att we'll attack the left-hand side. They have wronged us. Yes. Um, slayers on that? No, you will. You will just get melted. Ungroup you guys. You guys take the battering ram. Very. F I mean, no one. No wonder it takes so long to construct these things. It doesn't need to be that fancy, lads. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> I'd have settled for just literally a tree log with a with a sharpened point on the end. That would have done. That would have done the trick. Let the vengeance begin. Okay, my Dowie brothers. One mission, and that's to make sure that we get some of the glory.
Let's go. Straight up the walls. Quarrelers. Come here. Looks like you'll just be out of range there. Hopefully. Let's keep them out of range. There. See if they're in range there. So they can fire but not be fired upon. That's a perfect angle. That's always the angle you're looking for. Let's see how that does. Looks like looks good, doesn't it? Looks like they'll be able to fire without getting fired at. Oh, look at all the Z fire coming in. Oh no! Some of our brothers are down already. Oh no, what happened to him? Poor guy. Fire! To the walls! This is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Let's get these slayers over here. They've got artillery firing at us as well from somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Or is that the towers? Are the towers firing? Maybe it's the towers. Let's use that rune of wrath and rune. On... I don't got any biggins. There we go. Some biggins. Perfect. Our archers are certainly doing a good job. Here comes Zufbar attacking the right flank. They've got their siege weapons going. Oh, just making an absolute mess of these guys. Look at that. That's a scary sight if you're a goblin. You know what's coming. Just as our first dwarfs make it on top of the walls. Look at that. Take him out. That is one tough goblin archer. He's not moving for no man. <laughs> he made it out of there and everything. Fair play to him. And we're getting on the walls now. I'm going to try and take these big ones out. And we're about to bust down this gate. I will send the Slayers through as an Ungram. Let's get them ready. As soon as the gate falls, we're going through. Mount Gunbad will belong to the Dowie. Look at that. How awesome is that? That's a proper siege battle. The gate is down. Three we go. Charge. The Slayers are coming to kick some butt. Here they go. <laughs> Just falling over. <laughs> Great charge, dude. <laughs> Chop him up. Come on. What are you doing? Get this guy chopped up. Poof. Nice. <laughs> right, I better actually look at what's going on. Let's get you guys firing in here. Let's bring the Warriors through as well. Fight these biggins. And Zufbar is massacring their side as well. Barandin wants the glory. He's just charging on through. They're meeting no resistance. Most of the resistance was on our side. The glory belongs to the Karakadren. Look at Baron, he's just, he's just smashing it for the middle. He doesn't care. <laughs> he's like, I shall take the city and the glory. Another gate has fallen. The walls belong to the Dowie now. And we have trolls. Trolls fighting down here. We should have slayers on them. We do have slayers on them. Good stuff. That's some very accurate fire coming from our archers. Well played from them. The Slayers doing what they're made they're made for. Killing those trolls. Shouldn't have too hard a time. Let's bring our brothers down off the walls. No need to stay up there, they belong to us now. Let's 
send one unit to support our Sufbar brothers. They got the Slayers, they got... Oh, <laughs> just as Yadri Oathforged comes running in with a massive blow. Throwing himself, putting himself to the danger. Backed up by Siege Artillery and they run away and there's the victory. There was never any hope. Straight into my Dawi. And Mount Gunbad belongs to us. It's rightfully ours. Yeah, you can you can stand there if you want so far. It ain't gonna it ain't gonna belong to you, lads, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Oh wow. I mean execution for Grognock. Disgraced with a thousand arrows in his back. Is he gonna make it out? Is he gonna make it out? Maybe. No. <laughs> Too many arrows. What a great battle. Look at how many units there are in the field. It's just great. I, okay, I've got to end it. <laughs> what a great siege battle. I love battles like this. This is what Total War is all about, right? Just the numbers involved. I love it. A great show of dwarven might, and Mount Goombad is ours. And it has a gold mine and a gem mine, if I remember correctly, so it's uh, it's a pretty valuable place. The most profitable capital in the game. So we'll occupy that. Regiment of Renown has become available. Thank you, Zufbar, for your help. You may leave now. <laughs> gold mine um, and yeah, look at this brightstone mine as well incredible you know what I actually I'm going to build the growth building first because we need to expand this fast um, do I want this I might just delete that to build the public order building oh look Mount Squighorn has been taken by the orcs we could move further south and just uh, keep helping our Dwarven Brethren. Non-aggression pact. Definitely a good idea. No reason for it. No reason for it. See if we can get uh, 800 gold out of them. Sure. Yeah, that seems that seems reasonable. Zufbar, let us trade. Let's hear what you have to say. We'll hear it before off gold. A little bit of money for the trade agreement. I don't know why we weren't trading already. I don't know what happened. From hole Tis a great day. Indeed. Okay, so taking Mount Gumbad ended up being the easy part. Holding it might be a little bit trickier. I'm going to delete this as well. I don't think we need to build troops there. Um, Axe Lord, definitely. And let's get... Whew. It's getting up there now, level 11, that's pretty good. Kind of Grimnir. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get Master of the Forge. I want some more Oath Gold. What? Now, I could go back, but I feel like the vampires aren't going to declare war on us anytime soon. So perhaps it's best just to head southward. But the problem with that is, if we do head south, we can't come north again. It takes time to travel, right? So that our, our, we're leaving ourselves kind of exposed. But we will soon be able to build a, third, a second army. And we'll build that at home, of course, and keep it home. So there is there is stuff we can do. So I think we're going to head, keep heading south with Ingram. Pass our turn there, though. Okay, I can't believe we have two gold mines in Killian Mount Grimbad already. So strong. And hopefully Zufbar will stop raiding us now. <laughs> I imagine they will. Yeah, raiding raiding minus six there. But they'll stop, obviously. So yeah, we need to go head south and uh, try and relieve the 
the dwarves of this orc invasion that they're suffering from. Quest. We have a new quest. Raid any region belonging to green screens. Green screens? Green skins. No problem. <clears throat> Mount Gunbad. Upgrade the growth building, please. And then, you know what? Something else is needed. Public order. Oh, you can build walls at level 2. I feel like walls. You know what? I want walls. That way, we can just let it rebel and it doesn't matter. Then it'll all be fine. So, can we leave? That's the question now, really, isn't it? And I think the answer is yes. How many? How long are the walls? Three turns. We'll be fine. It's about to rebel. So this will rebel, but then hopefully if I get the walls up, then uh, we should be able to hold it. One, three, two, two. So that's... Um, Eight more units, so it's a 16-man 16, 16 garrison. Pretty damn strong. Check our diplomacy. Oh, Ostermark are starting to like us. See if they'll trade with us. Still won't trade with us. Strange. What if we offer you just a wee bit of gold? A thousand? It's not worth a thousand. It's not worth a thousand. Deliver your message. Let's be friends. I will. Thank you for the gold. All right. Avaland. Yes. Just trying to make friends so that when they eventually can reach us, they'll already like us and want to trade with us, hopefully. Oh, what did I just accept? Non aggression pack, that's fine. And Karak Nern. Cool. Made lots of friends. Thou darest. I do, sir. Okay, pass the turn there. And I won't take Mount Squighorn. I will just sack it until the dwarves take it back. Because I won't be able to hold that. I won't even be able to get the public order stable. There's Maggot. <laughs> I mean, do the orcs not realize they're evil when they have names like Maggot? You gotta have a good hard look in the mirror and go like, hmm, why am I called Maggot? That doesn't, you know, it's not a nice name. <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I leading a good life here? <laughs> Orcs should really reflect more. Maybe they'd stop wagging all over the all over the place. Buildings damaged in Casader class. That's annoying. Okay. Right. Well. That's a perfect place to end it anyway. Uh, we are heading down to Mount Squighorn, so next time we'll continue our campaign against the Orcs in the south and keep upgrading Mount Gunbad. But that's all for this episode, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe and hit that like button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers! <laughs>